All right guys, what's up and welcome back to Emacs USA. And today I'm gonna show you the proper way on installing your propellers. When you get our kits, a lot of the times it won't come with the propellers on and we just provide them for you. And we oftentimes give you two sets of propellers. So I'm gonna show you which propellers to put on which motors. So go ahead and grab your drone, grab your propellers and let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is take your drone and set it in front of you and have it facing away from you. That way it's like you're sitting inside the aircraft. And I'm gonna go over the motor directions so that way you know which ones are clockwise and which ones are counterclockwise. In a quadcopter, you're gonna have two spinning clockwise and two spinning counterclockwise, and that's how it creates thrust and keeps it level. Now, once you have it set in front of you, let's go over each motor and which way it's gonna be spinning. So we're gonna start with motor number one, and motor number one for beta flight configuration is the right rear motor. And that motor is going to be spinning clockwise. Now, if we go directly in front of it to the right front motor, that's motor number two. And motor number two is gonna be spinning the opposite, so counterclockwise. Now, hopping over to motor number three, it's gonna be your left rear motor on your drone. And that one's also gonna be spinning counterclockwise. And motor number four, the last one, the left front one, if you haven't guessed it already, is gonna be spinning clockwise. So now that we know which motor's which and which way it's spinning, I'm gonna walk you through the propellers and how you should install them. And the first tip I'm gonna give you guys is to figure out which is the top and the bottom of the propeller. You'll notice that there's some mold marks. What you wanna look for is the three little dots on the propeller and that's gonna be the top of the prop. So when installing them, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those are facing upwards so they're not upside down because if you put them upside down, they may create some thrust but it's not gonna be enough and your drone is not gonna fly that well. Now the next thing I wanna point out is the airfoil on these propellers. You'll notice that some have the airfoil going one way and some have the airfoil going the other way. So when we're starting with our motor number one, the right rear, we just identified that as spinning clockwise. So you're gonna wanna look for a clockwise prop. And the way you're gonna notice that is the airfoil is gonna be cupping the air. So when it's spinning clockwise, it's gonna be cupping the air that way to create thrust down. Now moving to motor number two, it's spinning the opposite way like we identified before, counterclockwise. So you're gonna actually look for the other propeller that is cupped the other way. So if you actually look at these two, you'll see one is pushing the air counterclockwise and one is gonna be pushing the air clockwise. So make sure you get the propeller that's pushing the air counterclockwise for the counterclockwise motors. And we're gonna do the same for motor three and four. So three is counterclockwise and number four is clockwise. And I'm gonna put that next to motor number four. Okay, so now I have these reinstalled on my aircraft and I'm gonna tell you guys a little technique that I taught myself when I first started. And I'm sure every pilot out there has some kind of technique to verify and check that propellers are on correctly. But if you're running the normal prop direction like this, I always used to call it inside, inside. And that means the inside of the aircraft, all four propeller blades towards the inside are gonna be facing inwards towards the craft. Now, some, some other people might do it another way, but that was an easy trick that I kinda of taught in my head that, okay, I can take a quick glance at my propellers before I take off, and I can see all the inside blades are facing inwards towards the craft. Now, one of our other aircrafts, the Tiny Hawk 2, already comes with the propellers installed. So if you break one or bend one, it's really easy to find the replacement. You just have to match it up and put it on. But all the techniques that I did teach you here will transfer over to any other aircraft that is running the normal prop direction. All right, guys, that's pretty much it on how to install your propeller. Make sure to hit that subscribe notification bell. That way you stay up to date on Tech Tip videos when they're released on this channel. And if you guys have any ideas for any videos, make sure to put them in the comments below. And if you think I missed something in this video or you guys have a tip that I didn't recommend, make sure to throw it down there as well. But until the next one, guys, I'll see you later.